in this lesson we're going to take a look at how we can integrate React into Vid project. So I have prepared an empty Vid project which doesn't use any frameworks. So let's get to integrating React. And actually before we start there is an option which Vid provides us with which allows us to scaffold Vid project with React integrated right from the beginning and for that we just need to use value React for this template option and run the following comment. But just to better understand this whole process and how the integration happens, we're going to do all these steps manually. And before we start, we actually have to install all necessary NPM packages, such as libraries React, React DOM, and Vid plugin, which allows us to import React components. And after all those libraries are installed, we have to open up configuration file vid.config.js and in here let's import the plugin from the vid.js plugin react package and then to include this plugin we have to call this function react in this array of plugins like so and that's basically it now we can just start developing react application so everything starts with the main script file main.js let's remove everything from this file and also rename this file on main.jsx since we're gonna use jsx syntax in this file and also we have to fix the path to this file inside of index.html so let's go here and fix this extension right here as we can see we already have a div with an identifier up this will be a div where we're going to mount react application so let's create our root component we'll call the new file app.jsx and here we're going to use a simple example, which will be basic counter component. So let's import use state function from React. Then we're also going to create file with styles and import them right here. And then down here, let's define our component function up. So this function is going to have only one state variable, which will be a counter. Initial value for this counter will be zero. And right here, Let's define our template for this component. So I'm going to add h1 element with the counter text. And down below we're going to create the button, which is going to increment our counter. And just to see if our counter gets incremented, we're also going to show this variable's value as the label for this button, like so. And now we'll register the listener which will be fired when clicking on this button. And inside of this listener, we're basically going to update state variable count by incrementing it by one. And finally, at the bottom of this file, let's export this component as a default export. And also just to check if we will be able to import CSS files with styles, and those styles will be applied to our components, Let's create basic CSS file with the name app.css and in here I'm going to describe one rule for the h1 element and make the color of this element blue. Because previously I have already imported this CSS file in our component which is supposed to make this h1 element blue. So now that we have our root component in place we actually have to initialize React application inside of our main script. So in here we're going to import React DOM library from the React DOM client. And also we're gonna import our root component up from app.jsx. In here we have to pass DOM element where we're going to mount our application into. In this case we're going to mount it inside of element with an ID of app. And eventually to render this application we're calling method render and as the parameter, we're specifying our root component as a JSX. And after that, if we're gonna take a look in a browser, sure enough, we're gonna see working counter. And that means that React application was properly initialized. So now just to see what transformations are being applied to our React components, we can use plugin inspect, which I have already pre-installed, which allows us to open up this URL in a browser in C transformations that happen to our imports. So in this case, once browser reads main.jsx file, then it sees this import of app.jsx component, 
then it fires the call to the server to fetch the code of this component. And instead of giving us the raw content of this component, Vit applies React plugin to convert the content of this component into a render function which will be recognized in the browser. And then this function runs in the browser, and this way we're seeing our counter component on the page. And if we open up our inspector and take a look at the transformation which is happening with our component file, we're gonna see that this JSX syntax was converted into proper render function, which will be recognized and run in the browser. And this is it. The whole process of React integration into Vit project was pretty simple. So just to recap, we had to install three dependencies, React, React DOM, and plugin for React. And then we had to include this plugin inside Vit configuration file in this plugins array. And this is what actually allows us to create and import React components in our files. So we can start developing our React applications in Vit projects as we are used to.